from Lenovo. But you know what I'm saying? I roamed at Dixon. They taught me a lot of shit over there, you know what I'm saying? Hustling, it was hustling, it was two different hustling in, in each neighborhood. When I went to Dixon, they showed me a, another level of hustling. So it had more. It had more people that I can I can I I was a product of my environment, you feel me? So it had more people that I can manifest my dream with as being a young dope boy, you feel me? Okay. Yeah, man. You to hang over here, man. Stay to stay in this bitch. You know what I'm saying? They right here. They were my house. They were my street. They coach told me it was his street one day. I had to challenge him. But uh, this house right here, man. When I left from well, what I represented and all that, I came here. My people, my people let me come here. And he tried to show me, you know, different way of living for hustling and grinding and, you know what I'm saying? Really teaching me independent type shit. So I landed at this motherfucker, and we were doing Lord knows what. Me and T Hicks, we had this bitch sold up. I'm talking about cars lining down the street. All the little bitches from other streets, they pull up, they fucking with us. They snatched this off. They snatched the, the frame off. The whole frame, the whole dope frame. Pull it off. One time they go in there and throw a bomb in that bitch. They had a big ass burn in the uh, carpet. But yeah, the whole dough came off. Next time they came, that bitch was re reinstated. <laughs> that bitch was back up there, they couldn't get in it. Like, wasn't nothing in there. We ain't had nothing. I don't know what they were coming for, but they were coming. I guess because we looked it good. So you thank God this way it started from? Yeah, I thank God. Well, I, 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 learned, I learned this from somebody that say, don't never celebrate the come up, celebrate the struggle. Because you wasn't nothing without it, you know what I'm saying? So, I like that. That's setting, that's setting in on me, you know what I'm saying? That's why I'm coming back here and showing the world, you know what I'm saying? Everybody that paying attention to this shit. It ain't no act. It ain't me trying to convince you otherwise. Nigga, that's me. Okay, one and Gus, they from Dixon? One, 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 one from Easy Town, and Gus from like out the country or some shit like that. Oh, okay. But that's who you started with, right? That's who I started with. Y'all was that family? You was a member of that family? I was never a member of that family. Yeah, I was dealing with my people, know, who I say was trying to do the music, and them dudes looked at me like big brother type shit. So when me and my people part ways, I put them little niggas under my administration. And I was like, look, I'm finna start this record label. I ain't have a fucking thing. But I'm like, I, I know that y'all wanna rap. I know that I wanna rap. I'm gonna start this record label. I'm gonna help. I'm gonna help pay for the videos. I'm gonna help pay for the clothes. I'm gonna be the transportation. I'm gonna do everything. I'm gonna talk to who need to be talked to. My little partner, the one, one, that nigga, that nigga called DJ Earl, old bitch ass nigga. But that nigga kept coming to the door in the middle of the night. I'm like, man, where your mom at, man? Fuck your people at. He like, man, my, my daddy, man, my daddy told me who his daddy was and shit. I knew his daddy and shit. He like, my uncle stay around the corner, man. Yeah, he smoked dope, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> little bit old nigga, man. Well, he wasn't no little nigga, he had a little size on him, but. I just kept the little nigga around me, put him in the studio, gave him some shoes, gave him some clothes, changed that little nigga life. He ended up getting killed uh, at a basketball game, a celebrity basketball game. Yo Gotti came down here. The night he got killed, the night he got killed, that nigga text DJ Earl a big long message. Oh, bitch ass nigga don't want to let a nigga play in a celebrity game. You was a bitch nigga, this and that and that and that. So I'm like, what? However you feel about that nigga, I can't change that. But we need that nigga one. You feel me? Don't do no shit like that. One still was like, man, fuck that nigga, man. So I took it up on myself to call Earl. Earl like, man, what's wrong with your little people, man? I'm like, I don't really know. I don't really know what's really going on, but you know, we gonna come through there. I downplayed the fuck out that shit. Downplayed it. You hear me? Earl was like, Man, this little nigga something. I ain't even, then guess what? <laughs> that nigga takes Earl off my phone. But he ain't say, bitch ass nigga, woo the woo, woo the woo. He takes me, he takes and said it. And so Earl could have been under the impression it was me. 
But I don't know how the fuck he Earl found out that it was one. When Earl found out it was one, so I cleared the shit up and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And, and we went on from there. We was on the radio. We had all type of shit. All the bitches wanted to fuck us. You know what I'm saying? Niggas wanted to be nigga friends. Niggas wanted to beef with a nigga, then be friends with a nigga, then beef with a nigga again. Like Bigger say, they hate you, they love you, they hate you, and then they love you again. This here totally different. This, this ain't, they, they let me come on. Uh, what's the name of the house? So this here totally different, man. Yeah, man. This right here, man. Look like my God, all the same stuff in here. This why I ate, slept, you hear me? This why, this why I manifested my, my talent. Ain't the time around. I can't be going through the woman's stuff. She didn't let me come. I told her it was my old house, so she just let a nigga come through and show y'all this this here house I grew up in, man. She probably hold on right quick. What Dre? Say big boy. Little boy. Big boy. Check this out. I need to get it up. Say, let me show you something. You can see it here. Hold on, I need it. How I'm gonna get it here? Come help me right quick. Move this shit up. And the people who the house for probably don't even know about this right here. Come get down up in here. Let me show you something. That's it. That's enough. You straight right there. They got a lot of shit in them motherfuckers. I'ma just move a lot of shit. But nigga don't even know. This this here real life. This real life my life, you hear me? This 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 what this they never find nothing, you feel? Whole drop. You never find it, you hear me? Was it spoiled on your first song, like big song? Fuck no. I ain't like slow motion. I'm messy, I had a song called, bitch, I'm messy. I'm messy, messy. I'm messy, messy. Bitch, I'm messy. I'm messy, messy. Man, that bitch used to have the clubs going dumb. Yeah, that when I was fucking with the niggas. Before that, nigga. Shenanigans, nigga. Shenanigans on, uh, on flattery, nigga. And that room right there was a studio. From the, from the, from the jump. From since we been in that motherfucker, like from the jump, the studio equipment there, we bought the studio equipment from Big Head the Thong Doctor. It was a bunch of shit. Look like trash. Nigga, put that bitch in there. That nigga, that nigga left, Dre left that shit in there with me. I'm in there hustling. I'm hustling. Airplay come. I'll go back in the room and hook up something else. Airplay come. Airplay come. So I'm in that bitch hooking it up to one day I called Dre over here. Let that nigga tell you, I call that nigga over here. Turn that bitch on. He like, man, what the fuck you doing, man? And that nigga talk, man, what the fuck you doing, man? I'm like, man, I got that bitch working, man. We can record that shit. Nigga, we fucked it up. We fucked it up.